Hey guys, how's it going? Matt, back with another video. On top of my hiker trailer roof, and you're probably wondering what I'm doing up here. But I've got a very exciting product to share with you. It is a Paragon, uh, 23-0 makes it, Paragon shower room. Very excited, been wanting one of these for quite a while. I got this from Deer Creek Overland Gear. Um, they have a whole bunch of cool products. You'll have to check out their website. We ran into one little snafu with mounting this between our bars on our roof rack. That's why I'm up here now. We're gonna walk through what this product's all about, how we mounted it and modified it to fit on our trailer. So let's get started. So for the 23-0 Paragon shower, we're gonna show you what comes in the box. So you get the actual unit itself. You get a couple of L brackets that can attach to any roof rack system. You get a bag of stainless steel fasteners, bolts, and you get four stakes that come in this little nylon bag. Just your standard peg. The equipment we used to modify the side of our roof rack so we could get this to uh, fit are the following. We got a one by, we got a 48 inch one by one piece of stock tubing you can get at any hardware store. It's just the hollow end stuff. Uh, two 5 16 by two and three quarter stainless steel bolts. A couple of caps, one inch caps, so you can dress up the ends. For the extension portion, our idea is we are going to U-bolt this here, the shower unit, onto the pole. And a buddy of mine took some stainless and made me some brackets. Uh, basically, in our pre-fit, we realized we don't really need this whole um, bracket on the back. Nothing else to bolt to it for the way we're doing it and you clamping it or clamping it on to that pole. So we opted to just take some stainless. I think this is like quarter. It's a little bit thicker than what the bracket is. Um, but we basically need it just, just the size of this to get around the uh, pole. Let's uh, go over to the trailer and get it mounted up now. See how it works. And we've got our two homemade brackets and then our stainless steel hardware to bolt the bar to the two crossbars. A couple of tools in our drill with a socket. Let's get started. Okay, now we're gonna put some little plastic plugs into this one inch just to dress it up and make it look like the rest of them. So these just are friction fit and tap them in. Now it looks like the OEM stock bars. Nice clean installation. We got the caps on the bar. Um, telling you what, this thing is not going anywhere. So we're gonna go set it up and show you what it's all about. Okay guys, we're gonna set up the shower room. We're gonna show you what it's all about. Wendy here is gonna demonstrate how quick and easy it is to set up itself. Basically unzip it from the bag, pull out two arms, one on each side. She set the locks, triangular locks and the arms and now she's going to start staking it out. Okay, took her approximately 20 seconds to set it up. Now we'll start walking around, we'll go over some of the features. Okay, Winnie's gonna demonstrate how you get into it. 
Got a long zipper. And get right inside that. It's got a strap up here so we can loosen it or we can tighten it depending on what the height of the overall fabric where you want the, the height to be. Okay, in the bottom of it, it has a nice rod fashioned all the way across. So that way when you're quick deploying, there's no wind, it's going to naturally just fall to the ground and it's not going to blow up on you too much. All four corners, it has these nice tie outs, provided stakes, and a full adjustment. So as you can see here, it's silver lined. This way you don't get any shadows, silhouettes with whoever's inside. All right, we're gonna to move to the inside. So you come inside here, plenty of room. We'll start out at the top here. When you go to put out the bars, originally there's these uh, support brackets. You just have to lock those in place. Make sure they're out all the way. This keeps the bar locked. Um, in the center here, you've got your two uh, straps, one on each side. This is where the material gets wrapped up to and Velcroed back on itself, keeps everything up top. Uh, this is for a shower head. So if you got a shower head, you can place the shower head here in the middle and it's got a little piece of Velcro and you can Velcro that and keep it in place. On the other side here, another one of the straps and then you got one, uh, another support bracket on this side. Zipper is located off to the side. It has two zippers here. So one of the zippers, this is your entrance exit. And then this zipper here is if you need to get something that's near the trailer. Wendy's gonna demonstrate. She opens up that zipper. On both sides, you're basically butted right up to, against your trailer. So if you were zippered in here, like that, You've got a little bit of a window. If you want to set something here on this fender, just remember you're going to probably have reflection off this glass. So if somebody's over standing yonder, there's a potential of a reflection into the shower. So just be cautious of that. I wouldn't zip it down this far, honestly, myself. Then on this side, same thing, it's wide open. You could, uh, set stuff up here you could easily get to on the top of your trailer um, soaps and shampoos and that kind of thing even your water your water hose that kind of stuff as we move around the inside of the enclosure we've got a little spot here to put some soap or shampoo or anything you want to um, we've got the strapping from side to side there really is no pole in the middle it's all supported by fabric and then on this side you've got another pouch same as the other side So as you can see, you can lower the straps down like this when he's demonstrating. And uh, you can lower them as low as you want if you want to have, if you've got a good view and you're off grid, absolutely pretty cool. Here we mounted the enclosure as far back of the trailer as we could. The main reason we wanted this instead of centered on our bars is that way we had a little bit of a window view. You can see half of the window, so if you're inside, you can still look out on this side. It doesn't block by the enclosure if you are to leave the enclosure out and up. So at this point, we'll do a little walk around. So the enclosure does not block uh, our darts yawning at all. We don't have any issues with that. Just want to kind of show you how these two kind of marry up to each other. Comes right up to the end of the trailer. So our darchy strap, which is this one here, just runs to the HT in the front. Not a problem. Got plenty of room in between. No interference with the jack. I do have the darchy fully deployed right now at the moment. We're gonna open the door and show you with the door. There's no issue with the door either. So we can open the door fully without a problem. And it doesn't interfere with the enclosure. So we just take the door open, not a problem. So a nice thing about the shower or enclosure is you've got a shower enclosure with a view. Quickly show you how fast it gets put together. Wendy can do it one person without any help. Once you've got the stakes pulled, just roll the material back up. 
There's a couple Velcro straps to hold everything in. So, Wendy, what'd you think of the 230 Paraguayan shower enclosure? It works really nice. It goes up really easy, comes down really easy, and there's plenty of room inside to change. You don't feel like you can't move around in there. So, I think it's going to work out nice. Yeah, I'm excited for it. So, yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we got this from Deer Creek Overland Gear. We're going to put their uh, information down in the description. Check it out. Any comments on this, put them down below. We'll see what we can do to answer them. Like, share, and subscribe. We will see you on the next video, guys. Have a good one.